Today we're going to be looking at my list of the top five Linux distros for 2024. As always, folks, my personal opinion, if your distro isn't here, let us know in the comments what you use. And remember, don't take it too seriously. It's just uh, one person's opinion. Coming in at number five, uh, Fedora Linux. Fedora needs no introduction. It is, of course, the testing ground and of the rel based distros. And Fedora, of course, is really great at implementing newer technologies. Sometimes can be at the detriment of a bit of stability, but what they essentially do is they work closely with upstream Linux communities. So basically any changes or enhancements they make to their various uh, pieces of software to distribution does go out and is available for others. Uh, Fedora, probably one of the best uh, interfaces when it comes to the GNOME interface and even uh, the KDE spin is also pretty good as well. Fedora, really great uh, to use, really pushes the boundary and if it works well in your hardware, it's a great way to stay as close as up to date with the latest software without uh, risking to break your system too much. So. Fedora Linux all the way. Ubuntu Mate. So, yes, I didn't choose normal Ubuntu and I didn't choose one of the other desktop environments. I chose Ubuntu Mate for the simple fact of it's a no fulls, no fuss derivative of Ubuntu. You know, it's essentially Ubuntu with a Mate on it, which of course is a continuation of the GNOME 2 interface. It's sleek, it gets straight to the point, it's not filled with nonsense, works on a slower powered hardware, and Ubuntu Mate, one of the best, if not close to the best, uh, Mate implementation of Linux distribution. So if you want to use Ubuntu, but don't want to have the hassle of using GNOME and you want something a little bit more old school, uh, the Mate edition is probably a good one to look at. Endeavor of OS, a possibly one of the betters, if not the best uh, Arch-based Linux distribution. It's as close to having vanilla Arch as possible with additional ease of use items, such as an easier installer and of course support for different desktop environments. The current uh, offline installer uses Plasma as default. It used to be XFCE. And yeah, Endeavor OS, a great, helpful, and friendly community using uh, Arch, of course. And they have so many types of tutorials online. It's fantastic. Website, relatively also easy to navigate as well. So easier to find uh, the OS and get it installed. And yeah, at the moment, if you're not going to use a vanilla Arch and you want another Arch, based distribution to set up, but you don't want to have every single theme or additional rubbish put on top of it. And when I say rubbish, I use that term lightly. I'm saying unwanted stuff. Um, Endeavor OS will get you up and running with Arch quickly and simply. And another one, if you want to have your system uh, immutable, atomic updates, and to be able to have easy reproducibility and portability, and you want to be declarative with it, you have to use one of my favorites, NixOS. NixOS, of course, using the incredible Nix package manager, not to the world's easiest distribution to use, and at times doesn't always have the best uh, documentation, and sometimes within its own community, folks aren't sure if they should or shouldn't use Flakes, or just use the normal configuration.nix uh, file, but really, if you put your mind to it and spend the time to learn this distribution and implement it correctly, the sky is literally your limits with NixOS. It's by far one of the most stable. And of course, you can easily just revert back your changes if you need to with this OS. Highly recommended, highly usable, highly excellent, but really uh, not the easiest distribution to use. So I wouldn't recommend it uh, for first timers. And lastly, coming in at number one, uh, Debian, which needs no introduction, of course, 
one of the oldest Linux distributions ever. And, uh, and of course, it serves a basis for so many bits of software out there, Proxmox, Ubuntu, Mint, Kali, Pardis, Astra, etc. It's really the grandfather of Linux distributions and stable, rock solid, reliable. You can use it more as a rolling edition if you use test repos. You can have it stable using Debian Stable. And trust me, it is stable. You can use it on your laptop, your desktop, your server, you name it. Absolutely fantastic uh, distribution. And with other distributions out there, uh, like MX Linux and Sparky, etc., also tend to uh, make it a little bit easier to use. Debian in recent times, of course, now includes optional non-free firmware in the installer, which means it's easier to get native Debian up and running on your hardware. Really can't recommend Debian enough. Absolutely rock solid, reliable, and my personal favorite uh, distribution for this year. Folks, let me know your comments below. Let me know what you think. As always, bye for now, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.